Hey, what's up, Fish2 community? How's everybody doing? Thank you for clicking on this video. And today, this is going to be a video on how to frag SOAS 101. So, um, let's start off the video um, with the things uh, we'll be needing to frag our SOAS. So, I have two colonies of SOAS here. I'll show you guys in a bit. So, what we're going to need, of course, we're going to need our frag plugs. Um, this is from Ocean Wonders. There's 20 plugs there. And the glue that I use is the ice gel and it's a coral frag gel so I got this from Amazon probably like 10 bucks and of course you're gonna need your your nitrile dis disposable gloves um, and you will need a blade a utility blade I have the Milwaukee uh, make sure you place like um, some type of paper underneath so you, uh, you won't make a mess or if anything gets wet make, um, the paper will absorb it and just make sure you have a paper roll um, one reason why we use gloves is because soas have polytoxin and you get sick, you get ill if you swallow it or have it in your eye. I couldn't find my glasses, but you should, I recommend for everybody to wear glasses and gloves when you frag soas especially. So I'm going to be um, extra careful and I do have long sleeves because um, I'm trying to be as safe as I can. So we'll begin the process of fragging the soas and I hope you guys enjoy. If this is helpful, um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, comment, any questions down below. And if you're new to this channel and you like what you see, I will appreciate if you subscribe and I'll subscribe. You subscribe, I subscribe. So let's begin with the video. Alright, so let's begin with the fragging. Hopefully um, you guys are able to see. So I am going to wear my gloves, like I said. Hopefully I have enough since... The twins always tend to grab my stuff to play around. So we're gonna wear gloves. Sadly, I don't have gloves, but I will be extra careful because we don't want no polytoxin on us. So I'm probably going to frag about I'll say six six frag plugs. We are going to get our utility knife. Be careful because they can cut you and it can cut your glove. Um, we have our glue. What you do with these before, um, once you frag it, make sure you wet this. Make sure you wet the frag blood and you put glue on it. So I just tend to keep one wet already. And the first frag, the colony first one, we're going to actually. Um, Frag, it is like a pink zipper. You might not be able to see the color from it because of the lights, but once they're underneath, underneath the blues, then you'll be able to see them. Like I said, we must be really careful with these. Um, since they are toxic, they have that polytoxin. We do not want, we don't want any of this. And um, let's see, we don't want any of the polytoxin in, in our to swallow it or, or any type of situation like that so like I said we wet the frag plug we wet it a little bit then we just put a little bit of of glue so now the fragging begins like I said just try to find a trying to find a place in the soil where you feel comfortable or fragging like I said we don't want none of this in our eyes or in our mouth Be gentle with the soil. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to um, ca cause it to to stress. Because once it's stressed and it feels threatened, you guys know these are live animals. When it feels threatened, of course, it is going to release some of the of its polytoxin. So we just have to be really careful and gentle with it. And um, and not stress out the. The soa.
when we seen you wear gloves too, I just noticed there is a bristle one. So you have to be um, careful with them too because you don't want to get stung by any bristle one. We have another another head. So you don't have to worry about the the colony that much because um, soas are coraled and they're just they used to being exposed out of the water for a certain period of time. So I'm trying I'm gonna try to at least put three three to three to four heads in a plug because this thing has a lot of heads so we're going to just be as careful as we can like I said I'm going to be gentle with it we try to be as gentle as we can with the soul so We have our second head. You also want to make sure you do not put it on the wrong side of the head because we don't want to glue the front side. Oh, I just found a cocoa pod. What a cool thing. So we'll put that cocoa pod back in the water. That's awesome. Seeing the cocoa pod. Uh, what else? Let's see. Sometimes it is scary to crack. So we have to see, find the, the perfect uh, soa to, to crack. You need to be patient, take your time. I think I found one. Have the last head. So we have the last head. Once you put the, the once you put the, the heads on the frag, then what you do is just put it in the water. That way, um, that way the glue will dry. The glue will start to dry and um, inside the water, and that actually helps you. I'm sure I'm going to edit the video. I know it's going to be long, but um, I hope it's useful for some.
you got three heads right there. And so you have to be really careful when we work and with soas, especially when fragrant. So my camera had died, but um, I was able to frag seven, seven um, frags, seven soas, seven frags of soas, um, two kinds of soas. So uh, we're going to be adding them. I removed one glove already. I'm just going to use this because I don't want no polytoxin or whatever on my skin. Um, I never reuse my gloves. I always throw them away. So make sure if you do this, just throw away your gloves. And if you use towels or anything like that, or, um, just make sure you, you wash them. So, we're going to put the colonies back. Like I said, uh, like I said, the battery had died. But we frag. We were able to frag everything successfully. I didn't. I was. I didn't see any um, polytoxins at all when I was fragging the soa. So that's a good thing. Let me just grab a handful because I don't want to be um, dropping that much water. So we're going to add the soa, and we're just going to wait and see what we get when these corals start opening up. So, actually, yeah, I was able to actually frag eight. So. And while I was fragging, I was also able to see um, some cocoa pods. So that's pretty cool. So I do have cocoa pods, um, just a low um, colony of them. Hopefully they could multiply in this tank and... Um, be able to see them soon. So that's it. There's no, I don't want to frag the green star product since I have some frags. Still have one too. I want to cover this rock, this rock. So let me show you guys. Uh, let me just. Make sure I shake the glove. Throw it in the bucket. Dry my hands. I do this, I will wash my hands with soap. So. So those are the eight soils that the eight soil frags that I was able to frag. So um, I will be giving you guys an update um, to so we could all find out together how long does it take for soils to open up after they're being fragged. Hopefully I was able to be successful on this fragging. Um, it's not my first, but it's not my my 10th, 20th time fragging. So it is an experience for me to learn every time I want to do it a cleaner, safer way. So that is good. Um, so so far, this is my frag tank. As you can see, all the frags that I have there, they actually look better in the blues. Um, I am thinking of buying some. Um, I am thinking of buying some type of um, filter so that we're able to see the the corals under the real color of the of the corals under the blues but the camera still doesn't pick up any of the colors but they are colorful um, sadly the camera doesn't pick up the blue there's too much blue there the only thing that it picks up is the green um, but uh, yeah so I will probably by the next video the next update 
I will be buying the filter so that way we could we are able to see the the frags better. Um, I was having a problem with um, algae since we don't have a lot of filtration here, just the bio media. I did add a algae bunny so he could eat the algae, of course. Um, so that's pretty much it. You can gain you can get you can gain profit off a frag tank. Um, so. I haven't really tried to sell them, but I did put them up once, and someone came, and they got about $30 of frags, which that means like three plugs, but since that was my first time selling um, frags, I actually gave the person two free frags, but now that I have learned experience, I've done my research, I should have charged them more, because I sold them Rastas, which Rastas are $10 a head, and that frag had like three heads so that would have been a three dollar frag by itself but it's okay so they you know we learn from our mistakes but anyhow i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said um if you're new to the channel you like the content in this channel um you are free and welcome to subscribe if you like the video um give it a thumbs up any questions any suggestions you could um write it down in the comments down below i hope you guys have a great day and fish on and i'm out